Yeah. So, so I guess, the, so, so scheme, and there were debates after that over time, but the foundational idea is tail calls, I would say. Uh, and then there's a couple of other things that kind of, I mean, the early Lisp had a concept called nil. So the sort of the empty list would also count as false and that got changed in scheme. So, so just scheme was kind of regularized version of Lisp, but the real reason for its existence was tail calls. Oh, cool. Okay. Interesting. And how, how was the committee, like you, how is the committee organized? You said that there, there is a committee that has to vote for, for, for the next uh, standard. Uh, who is this committee? How do they get there? Yeah, good question. So, um, so I mean, up to, uh, version five of the standard, there were just physical meetings and the committee was constituted just of people who showed up at the meetings. <laughs> cool. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, I mean, that meant it was kind of American centric, but it, it worked mm, right okay. until revision five, the standard and the, uh, what, I mean, then there was after version five and I was involved in the six revision of standard, there was kind of a slightly chaotic process. I would think where there was a scheme workshop and people talked about who might be on the committee and then a certain set of people got chosen. Uh, and, uh, and, but, but there wasn't, you know, this organized process that you would expect from a, you know, an official ANSI or ISO standardization process, because I think, the, I, I think as a community, we just didn't know what we were doing. Uh, slightly later in the process, we kind of thought, well, you know, if there's significant conflict within the group of uh, what's called the editors of R6RS, it'd be great to have a body that would be able to resolve those disputes. And then we decided to have a steering committee and the steering committee would then uh, you know, institute procedures to keep the whole thing going. But one of the problems, I mean, if you read up on R6RS, uh, it's, I think the end product was pretty good. I have to say that kind of as project editor, but I actually think it's pretty good and it's held up pretty well. But the social aspects of the, of the whole thing, the human aspects that were, were there again, weren't managed very, very well. 